A leftover jam. Do my second. Good morning. It is 10.22 a.m. Honestly, the most important thing for me to do today is film stuff. <laughs> and I have a few errands to run as well. It's kind of rainy today, not gonna lie. The weather is not the best, but I'm taking the car, gonna go to a cafe, get some work done this morning. Then I want to go to the art supply store. I've been feeling really inspired recently to actually finally do something. I don't know what. I used to always get inspired when I didn't have enough time and I call that procrastination inspiration where you think oh my god I can't wait to have free time so I can do this and then once you do have free time you don't actually do it and I get that all the time but <laughs> I'm gonna try and actually live my life to the fullest. <laughs> do what I actually want to do instead of just being tired all the time so yeah okay let's go. I'm kind of procrastinating right now because I don't want to go out in the rain. <laughs> and I'm just in my comfy hoodie, comfy clothes today. Got my thermals on, got my backpack because <laughs> we are looking after our back. Okay, let's go. It's like 3 p.m. I just finished working. I wasn't doing anything fun actually. I spent all day doing emails and my tax. <laughs> but it's done now and it feels so good. So I also replied to a lot of comments on my last video. I think over like a hundred comments I replied to. It felt so nice. So I'm just gonna go to buy some mealworms and then I'll head home. I feel kind of sleepy, but not tired or exhausted, just kind of like ready to sit on the sofa and relax. <laughs> Leia's fine dining restaurant experience. Today we are having a leftover jar of Holden Barrett tomato sauce and some frozen spaghetti from me. Before I get cooking, I just wanted to share my evening entertainment. Pokemon, brilliant diamond. Growing up, Pokemon Ruby was like my favorite Nintendo game ever. It was a Game Boy cartridge, but you could fit it into the Nintendo DS and all the diamond, ruby, sapphire, emerald, they are like the same game, just with different bosses at the end. Bosses, like final Pokemon. So this one is very reminiscent and it's not in the same style as the other new Pokemon games. It's kind of like cute little people. So cute. I already started it. My starter Pokemon, I picked a Piplup, which is the water. I used to use fire ones all the time. My lizard is literally called Charmander. But the fire option for this game was a Chimchar and I didn't really want that one because I've played with it before and it goes really scary when it's like evolved. I'm also now realizing if you're not someone that has played Pokemon or watched it, you will have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to get across the vibe. I'll be playing Pokemon and eating my spaghetti and it's gonna be the best night ever. <laughs> and I'm using fresh basil. Uh, I got it in a bowl of the barret. I think I've eaten this every day for a month straight and I'm still not tired of it. Sometimes I eat it twice a day. Thank you. 
This is a wooden board canvas. The whole thing is wood. It's glued together. I like using these when I do landscapes because I feel like I don't want an actual fabric canvas texture. These are really smooth. I want the edges of the canvas to still be wooden at the end. I don't want paint on them, so I'm gonna cover them. Okay, this stuff is called gesso. This is the one I'm using. It just looks like white paint, but it's not. And I'm just using a 50 millimeter brush, just like a big one to make it spread evenly. It's really important that I prime this before I paint it because I'm using oil paints and the oil can seep into the wood. You don't need to dilute it. So I'm gonna do two coats, one horizontal, leave it two hours, and then one vertical, and then leave it 24 hours to dry, and then I can paint. It is kind of tedious to have to do this before you paint because you kind of just wanna start, but I like to think of the whole process as the art, not just the actual painting, making sure you prime your canvas properly is like the beginning, you know, it's really important. As you can see, some of the bristles from the paintbrush have shed into the gesso, so I'm using these really fine tweezers, these are actually for jewellery making, and I'm just going to pick them out. Although we paint over this, so you don't actually see them, it will create texture on the painting that you don't want. It's so annoying if you leave any in. They can be kind of half a spot, like you think you've got them all and then you see another one and it's really obvious. So take your time here. Okay, and I'm just gonna smooth that out again. Another good way to do this is with a big sponge. While the first coat is drying, I'm just gonna rinse this with water, otherwise it will go all stiff. And we need it for the second coat, so. I'm gonna go do my work now while this dries. Let's go. Mana banana and I need to moi well moist in my middle. Did you go from paint to earlier? A canvas. Oh, that. So, I had his twin of your oil paints and for oil in the mound near pran, need on socky. So, I've got to do your thing, but I don't just so. You need well priming layer from the pran aka pint. Do you unsure on our banana? My bedroom is a mess. I'm going to clean it, do my second coat of gesso, go for a bath, wash my hair, relax a little bit. I have a meeting at 8 p.m. and it's currently 6.09. I quite like it, just why? It's like a statement. <laughs> or maybe I should do my layer of gesso and then start running the bath and I have to challenge myself to finish cleaning my room before the bath is ready because I feel like having a time crunch makes cleaning so much more fun and I actually will do it and save time in my evening. I'm gonna do that. Let me go get my paintbrush. Let's clean. Okay, here's what's going on. I have a lot of clothes, I have my moss, my poo scoop, my worms are just on my desk since yesterday. <sighs> the bed isn't made. It just needs a quick tidy and it's fine. It's not dirty, it's just messy. I will begin with the clothes. This is what I'm wearing after my bath. He 
is currently shedding so I'm just spraying water to increase the humidity. Good morning, I just ran a race, a 10 kilometer race and I'm about to go on a walk. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm having a bit of a late start today. I woke up and decided to watch some of my old videos immediately. I don't know why I did that. I spent like an hour in bed feeling reminiscent about being a student and living alone and my little flat and being able to just go to the art gallery or the library if I wanted to. It's like 10 a.m. right now. Definitely just want to get started with my day. I feel like I've not properly spoken to the camera yet in this video. My internal monologue has definitely become a lot quieter and so I'm not spending as much time like thinking about vast things that I shouldn't really be worrying about. So yeah, apologies for a quiet video so far but outfit of the day. 